Today I'm going to teach y'all how to be successful with the pick and rolls and pick and fades when, when a defender go under screens and over the screen, right? So this right here, for example, we're going to go step by step how to be successful with pick and rolls with any player. But especially with a, a guy like Steph Curry and Chris Paul and Dane, you'll be very successful if you understand this tip in this video. All right, first you got Russell Westbrook guarding Stephen Curry, right? So I'm going to show you all the screen right now. This right here, I'm calling a screen for Draymond Green in this situation. Now, you're going to see Russell Westbrook going under the screens. Which that's a bad idea if you're going to Steph Curry, right? So if you see that animation triggers, make sure you shoot the ball fast before Russell Westbrook recovers and contested it. Because... Westbrook is so fast is that he could test he could contest anybody. So make sure you shoot it Before he get there. All right, so understand. I'm gonna show y'all one more time See with a guy going under if you see this animation triggers, right? You shoot the ball Fast all right, you shoot the ball Im Immediately, okay You see that animation triggers understand the animation of pick and rolls, right? And then you shoot it. All right, I'm gonna call it pick. Pick and roll this time. Now you do it again. If the, if the pick and roll is not successful, do it again. Keep doing it. See, he got stuck, you pass it, and you go straight up. Or you punk fake. So understand the animations when you, when you set in a screen. All right, this right here in this situation, I call a pick and fade. So we're gonna work on that tip, right? So you see Draymond Green, for example, he got a brick wall on silver, so you can able to set a screen with him. Now, like I say, Russell Westbrook is the fastest guy out there in the court, so you can able to keep up with Steph Curry. That's why you gotta do things real fast and real quick. You see, now he's going over the screens now. He going over. So once they go over, you go blow by. Now I'm gonna show you. You see this? You go blow by and you do a layup, or if you see this man right here collapsing, collapsing on defense, you either um, kick it to the corner, to Clay Thompson, or you take a layup. But I know people want the threes more than the two. So I would have passed the ball in that situation, but you got a decision to make. A layup or a three ball. Cause this guy collapsed. It helped defense once once a guy um do over screens on Steph Curry, you go um blow by him to the paint. But it's your decision. If the defense collapsed, right, you could kick it out or go for a layup. If they don't collapse, you got you got a free pass to the lane, all right. So that's how you do it. Remember, understand the the animation in this game. You gotta understand it. That's how you be successful with pick and rolls. I'm gonna show y'all one more time. See, right now I'm gonna do pick and fade, right? You see, he going over the screens. He's not going under. So that's the difference. Cause he going over over the screen because he knows Stephen Curry is the baddest man on the planet. So you see this? What's supposed to fold up? See, Draymond Green asking for the ball, but Andy Davis is on him. You see this? So you got many options to do pick and rolls. All right, next step, the next step. I almost forgot to tell y'all. If y'all want to um, do a pick and fade, you got to press the LB button first, and then you press the RB. All right, this situation right here, Right? If you want your big man to roll to the basket, make sure you understand the, the center on defense, right? So that means that if the center's trying to come over and hash, the big man, the big man gonna cut down and get an easy dunk or an easy layup, right? So look, I'm gonna show you. You see, right, right now, Dry Howard paying attention to me. He paying attention to the ball carrier. So if you see your big man roll to the basket, give it to him. But be careful how you pass it. You see, you got these two defenders paying attention to Steph Curry. This is when you pass the ball. You don't force the, the situation. You don't force the issue. You, you're not trying to shoot it or nothing because you got these two guys that's worried about Steph Curry. They're not worried about this James Wiseman guy over here. So what you do is you keep going. See, now it's too late for Dwight Howard, right? So he got in front of him. Usually you, go, you, you punk fake or you go for the easy slam. So that's how you understand the, the pick and roll. All right, guys?